Um, me and my roommate, I think, are gonna get a fish today because we both mentioned we wanted a fish, but like I've never had one before, so I'm kind of nervous about taking care of it, but I think it won't be too bad because she's had one before. But I probably won't film it if we do that because I don't think my roommate knows I have a YouTube channel, plus that would be awkward to be like, ooh, let's film all the fish. I'm just like squatting a little bit, but as you can see, we did get a fish. He's super cute. Can you even see him? He's like up in the corner over there. Let me just zoom in. Where is he? Right there. <laughs> Come out. Oh, he's just staring. Here he is more up close, if you can even see his little face. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, hello. We also got him some little plants while my roommate did. So yeah. Now I'm upstairs, I'm gonna tell you a few things about our fishy that we got. So he's a male white opal beta fish and we got him at Petco. So first we had gone to PetSmart, but they didn't have the kind of substrate that my roommate likes, so we had to go to Petco and yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> But yes, here he is. He's very cute. I'm inserting like a bunch of videos of him as I talk over, but we were trying to think of a good name for him and we were down for like three options on Opie because like he's an opal beta and then Dobby because he kind of looks like a house elf, like the same color. And then Yuki, which is apparently snow in Japanese, but we ended up going with Dobby since we both like Harry Potter. But technically he's more of my roommate's fish because she's more of an expert on beta fish because she's had them before. But I'm just kind of like the cool aunt who's also there to like help Help feed him and stuff and maybe this will be like a test for me to see if I want to get my own fish when I graduate or something so we'll see what happens and then as you can see we also got this cute little mushroom house for him I think he's too big to like go inside of it but it's more of a cute decoration and then my roommate also got some plants to put around to add some more life to his little tank but yeah, he's a really cute fish. I like walking downstairs and just like saying hi to him, so. But now I'm just gonna read some like fun beta fish facts that I found on the internet, so here we go. Number one, apparently beta fish can live from two to five years, but in captivity, they can live up to 10 years. So dang, if that's true, that's like a whole pet. Like I thought fish died super fast, but. And then number two, beta fish are also known as Siamese fighting fish and they are freshwater fish native to Southeast Asia. They also can come in a variety of colors, so there's blue, black, clear, green, mustard, pastel, orange, purple, and like so many more. Apparently beta fish have a special organ called a labyrinth organ that allows them to breathe air at the water's surface. So Dobby definitely does do that a lot, which is cute. 
and so this apparently allows them to be able to survive in like rice paddies and really shallow, shallow ponds like puddles in the wild which that's so weird that they can survive in like a puddle like I'd be afraid that I was gonna like step on them on accident or something but yeah those are all my fun facts so thank you for watching this video I know it's kind of random but I wanted to document the time that I got a fish with my roommate because this is the first time that I've ever had a fish I mean technically it's her fish but like I'm also here <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be fun to have a little fishy guy to see every time I go downstairs but thanks for watching this video <laughs> I'll see you in my next video which is gonna be the Kokomi banner wishing which is tonight so I'm gonna be filming again tonight if anyone cares but yeah I'll see you later bye gamers